Moving on over to Normandy, we got a battle in the M Mill 2, played by me. I was just grinding out for the crayon bag and, uh, well, uh, well I, I, I did this. Uh, so, so right off the bat, I'm going to start heading over to this bush near the cap area, so maybe I can get some guys that are spotting mid. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. If you look to the top left of the map, you can already see I have a medium and a heavy tank camping. Oh, how much fun this will be. Alright, now that I have a full shell reload, I'm going to start clipping people out. The Z75 TS was the only one I had a really easy line of sight, decided I'm not sure why not. Let's put three shells into him. Got the full clip into him, bringing him down to 800-ish hit points. If you look at the, uh, the bottom left of the map, you can see a PTA that's gone around the entire map. I don't think that's the smartest move. Alright, so now I see this WZ rushing the Scorpion like, okay, might as well go help him out. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. I know the Scorpion's gonna fall, but it might get me the opportunity to clear this guy, so we'll see, we'll see. Alright, first shell into the rear of him, well, on one side. My next shell, I completely messed up. And the shell after that, I also completely messed up. So now he's two shots, so... Uh, see how that goes but fortunately he also hits my track which works out in the end I put one into his track stopping him for the ice day so he can clear him bring it down to a four oh well nope three versus uh six now oh nope make that two versus six all right here I'm, I'm in all caps I'm telling the is3 not to rush let them come out because you know that's how it always works there goes the P-44 expressing his anger for the team, even though it was probably his own mistakes that got him killed. I put one into the standard, and then I see this Indian. I'm like, okay, I'll put one into him, clearing him, bringing it down to a two versus four situation. All right, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm making sure this IS-3 doesn't do anything stupid, but uh, yeah. To get a shot into me, I was seeing if I could maybe get a shot into him or the bat chat uh, and uh, bouncing the M4A1 rev. How? Don't know, but uh, sure. And there again, I'm telling the IS-3 not to rush, which clearly cannot see. Get a nice HS shell on the side of things at 552. Now on 3k damage, that IS-3 is going to go down after clearing that rev, bringing it down to a 1 versus 3 situation. I have a hefty amount of hit points I can work with here in this situation, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it, uh, we'll see what happens to that. Alright, so I'm just trying to get shells now, I'm trying to, uh, Enemy you know, is put myself in a position to where I can outwork more. I try to put a heat shell into the cheek of the turret, it bounces, I don't know if it hit the mantle or not. I'm glad the batch had just missed all of his shots. That, that'll work out for me. Alright, so... I'm last spotted going back. But then I go for it. E75 knows because I'm still spotted. So then I just sit here. Make it seem like I'm not going to do anything. Maybe bait them out a little bit. I was, I was waiting to see if this U75 TS around the corner, and then I realized the bat shot could be flanking. But the uh, standard B decided to show himself, so... I get the clear on him. Bring it down to a 1 versus 2 situation. And then I try to go for the lower plate. I hit the upper, unfortunately. Uh, so E75 is still in the game. And then I'm worried about this bad shot, because I know he's behind me, but I really want to clear this E75 DS. I just want to get him out of the game. Another bounce. Again, I don't know if that hit the mantle or the cheek. I'm, I'm really confused. I know the bad shot can't clear me. He suddenly gets fired. So I come up, and then I try to put one to him, clearing him, finally bringing it down to a one versus one situation. I almost got the fire there, but I didn't. Alright, now it's me versus this bat shot. He's potential one shot with HE, two shot with APCR. Uh, I wanted to see if he was going to run this, and then I was going to pop the speed boost and just pull back into cover if it didn't finish him. But as of now, 
nothing has happened. I would have spotted him right or left if he rushed it, we'll see. The Cranwagon line is OPAF. No, E75TS, it is not. I bounced you at least four times. I know he's behind that rock because he couldn't. Yep, there he is. Seeing if he'll make the mistake with 1 minutes and 36 seconds left on the clock. Time is running out, so I gotta make this quick. I'm just trying to reset camel here, put myself in a better position. Maybe get a cheeky shot out. Or I was wondering if he'd make a move here, but uh, he didn't. He backed up. I got a nice little snapshot into him, bringing him down to a true one shot now with a cheap or AP, CR, or heat, but oh, we'll see. All right, I'm trying to reset camera to see if I can get the shot out, but uh, as of now, looks like we're just gonna play around the rosy, since I got spotted again. I'm seeing if I can beat this guy, but he doesn't wanna shoot. I don't wanna risk poking out on him, you know, Maybe shooting my track, my hull, maybe the top of my turret if I'm aiming down enough. I, I don't know. And then I, I try to make it seem like I'm going to bait it again, but no, he doesn't take it. He doesn't want any of it. So I see this little uh, hill incline behind me. I'm going to try to get up that, maybe peek over the rock, but uh, no line of sight as usual. thought he was going to go there, but he didn't. So now I was thinking, all right, I'll just reset camo and I'll rush him at the last second. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, now that I'm unspotted, I'm going to go for it. And finish him out. Enemy armor is destroyed. Five K damage for a tank with legit no DPM at tier nine. I'll take it. Why not? Only a first class. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, 5k damage, not bad. Props to the bat chat, he did pretty well as well. Can't say too much with the scorpion, but uh, yeah. And with that note, I'll make my move.